So it is going up to the top. Now it's going to switch. Now it's going to the bottom. And now we can go to the left. You can see it's all going to the left. And then we can go back to the right. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm going to be checking out the Cooler Master SK653 full-size wireless mechanical keyboard. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you want to find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can see the nice retail box and packaging right here, walking us through some of the product features and tech specs. So this is a Bluetooth wireless keyboard, but you can also use it with USB type C if you want to have a wired connection. And this is compatible with Windows and Mac devices. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, you can see we have our quick start guide walking us through all of the product settings and information in multiple languages. So you can see it from both sides right here. Next, you can see we have our Bluetooth instructions and settings as well, also in multiple languages, walking us through everything we need to know to get everything set up and connected. Next, we have our optional USB type A to USB type C cable. Again, pay attention to the beautiful purple color inside the USB that matches Cool Master's logo and branding. Love that. It's a nice braided cable. Then you can see we have a key removal tool. So let's go ahead, let's pop one off. Let's just take this one off. Just gently pull up with it. And you can see what the switch itself looks like on the keyboard. Now let's go ahead, let's pop it back in place right there. And you can see the keyboard itself. Check it out, a full US keyboard with our keypad onto the side. Everything looks great, very nice. You can see it from the top with our USB type C port. Here's the side profile from the right. Here's the side profile from the left. Here it is from the front side. And we can look at it from the back. Cooler Master logo and branding, nice rubbery grip to keep it stationary on a flat surface like your desktop. It's gonna hold it and grip it in place. But we can also adjust the legs. We have one setting right there for them. So we could also raise the keyboard up as desired. So you can see that right there. Now let's go ahead, let's try it out. So we have the keyboard set up right here. We're using the USB type C cable to connect with the hard wire to our PC, but don't forget this is a wireless keyboard. On our PC, you can see we have the Cooler Master Master Plus software downloaded to view all of our Cooler Master devices. So for this keyboard, you can see first up, we're in the wireless tab where we can adjust the brightness and sleep settings for the keyboard or reset it to factory defaults. Next, we have the lighting tab right here where we can choose whatever color we want. It will instantaneously change. We can adjust the value. So if you have an RGB value, you can do that. You can pull down the brightness right here. If you want custom colors, you can add foreground and background options. Then you can see the different modes. So we can choose a different mode depending on our desired preferences and settings. So a lot of different options here. We also have that custom mode. When we have our rainbow wave, you can see now we have this arrow key lit. So it's going to show you the direction that it's going. So we can swap that if we want. We could change the direction of that, which is pretty cool. And again, we can adjust the speed of the transition depending on the mode that we're in. Some will have that and some obviously won't depending on the effect. Next up, you can see we have key mapping. All the ones with green are available. Then you can see our key down here of currently assigned, our macros and our disable key. Then we have our macro settings right here. So we can import or create new macros. Quick assign, we have a lot of different options there. And lastly, you can see we have our profile section. So we have four profiles. So we can reset, rename, import, export, and we can open right here with EXE if you wanna do that. So four different profiles for this keyboard with a ton of different options 
and features that you can really customize to your gaming preferences. Now you can see we got the lights dim so we can really appreciate the different color options and LED modes. So first up, let's just look at our preset colors. They look great. The overhead camera is not doing it justice for how good the light colors and quality is in person. But you can get a feel for how bright they are. They're very bright. And the colors are really rich and vibrant, as you can see right here. So that's all of our preset colors. Now let's go to our different modes and effects. So first up, we have the rainbow wave right here. We have just our medium speed setting. So let's bring it all the way down. Here's the slow speed setting. So it's gonna wave slowly across. And then we can go if we want up to our fast speed setting. So look at how fast that's going. And then we can adjust the direction. So that's now the top. Here, let's slow it down just a smidge. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. So it is going up to the top. Now it's gonna switch. Now it's going to the bottom. And now we can go to the left. You can see it's all going to the left. And then we can go back to the right. So we're just gonna look at all the different effects right here. So check out this one so you can see. This is the crosshair effect. I like that, really cool. So again, we can adjust the speed of everything and see how fast it is. And then we can go slow. So you're slow. You can see it's gonna stay on longer. We have a reactive fade now. Same thing, this is just the medium speed setting. So we can increase that. So here's our fastest. And then we have our slowest. Pretty cool. Custom settings, so we can set this however we desire for select keys if you want, depending on maybe the game you're playing. Here's stars, so you can see. Look at that, twinkling, and then we can adjust the speed. So that's fast. And then we can go slow. So here's our slow, look at that, as they come online. Here's rain, so you can see the rain. That's at just our medium speed. Let's go all the way to our slowest speed. And then we can go to our fast. Next is color cycle. So it's gonna cycle through the different colors. Let's go to our slowest speed for that. And then we can go to our fastest. Very fast. Too fast. Now we have a nice breathing, just a pulsing. Here's fastest for that. Maximum speed. And then minimum. Now we got ripple. So for ripple, you can see, look at that. We hit a key. I love that one. So let's do that for slow, slow ripple right there. And then here's our fast ripple, super fast. Probably a good medium, just having that middle speed looks great. And then we got a game snake. You can see right here, check that out. And we can adjust slow fast so here's slow and then here's fast so you can see the different options here pretty cool if you guys like to play the game snake now we're back to just the medium speed settings for that Pretty cool how they light up. And again, the snake's always gonna eat. So again, we can change the speeds for that. It's a lot of fun, pretty cool. So nice little effect there, you wanna use that one. And then we can go back to our static option. Now let's go ahead, let's try it out while we game. All right, so we're jumping into a game of Fortnite right here to try everything out. 
So far, so good. Very responsive. I'm liking the feedback on the keyboard and how lightweight the mouse is. Come on! Got him! Look at that! That was all because of the keyboard and mouse, baby! Where is he? Got him! Double kill! Let's go! Send in the big boy. Come on. Got him. Got him. Whoa. Got him. Oh man, this is madness. This is crazy. keyboard and mouse baby so overall i've had a great experience using this keyboard whether it was gaming for prolonged periods of time or using it for content creation very happy with it overall i like that we have the ability to use this as a wireless keyboard if we want or we can still hardwire in and it's got usb type c which is top notch i like having the full us keyboard layout it's great to still pick up the number pad 
I like using that a lot, especially when I'm using my PC for business stuff and doing my own accounting. It's great to have the number pad still. Everything looks great, it works great, and there's so many customization options that you can use with the Master Plus software. So I'm very pleased with this keyboard overall and for all the features that it offers. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us and subscribe to our channel? We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.